See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. I don't have to. Who are you? The name's Abel. And I'm hungry as hell. Your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh-huh. And you just got extra lucky. I'm thinking, maybe more? You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that. If you want. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you.
Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? Agent, get down! <laughs> What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. to me. Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more. But we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome! Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just... not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem. Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Rudy's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be alright eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm 
gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably look. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie, the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can, can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. For bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. I do, I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks.
There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. another entrance to the basement around here. Sorry about that. 
I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. Uh... The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clint. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlon was so ashamed of what- Shut up! What'd you say? She I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're gonna be okay. I, pr I promise. God damn it! Hell! What did you say that for me? I told you not to say it! Get away from her. Oh, come on, Rudy, come on. I mean it, Marlin. Step back! <sighs> okay. Stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? A first aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about driving up into the mountains, where you could see everything. it in there and lift up the latch. work.
gun down. Get this fucking psycho away from me! Where is she? she she's in the basement. She, she murdered Brody. What? Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? Get the hell away from AJ, asshole! Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open! That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! What did you do? We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking. We fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us! Guns being pulled and murder! Well, fuck them! Fuck! Marlin! Jesus Christ! You shoot me, and what do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? What the hell is she talking about? I won't do it, because he needs us alive! Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to raiders in exchange for safety! The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie! Raiders? Oh my god! Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Come the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders is just gonna come along and take it? But you have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. So you'll let Marlin shoot me? Seriously? Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what would Minnie want you to do? She was my friend, too. So was Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. If you were there that day those raiders came, he would have abandoned you, too. Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun, now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. He was in a tight spot. 
He did the wrong thing, but he thought it was for the right reason. That doesn't mean we shouldn't have to pay for it. I wanted to get them states some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. <laughs> 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 Time friends, I had a murder. I even 